What I'm going to show you here is a technique called chromatography and chromatography is a technique that can be used to separate the dyes in an ink. So I've got a pen with some ink in it and what I'm going to do to demonstrate to you how chromatography works is I'm going to separate the mixture of dyes in the ink in this pen. So to start off with I need a piece of filter paper cut into a strip like that and I need a pencil and what I need to do is using a ruler draw a line, a pencil line near the bottom of my piece of filter paper and it must be in pencil because pencil is insoluble and it won't dissolve. I then need to get my ink and I'm going to put a spot of ink in the middle of that pencil line. And now I need a solvent. I need something that the ink will dissolve in. Um, and in this case, water will work. The solvent that you use depends on the mixture that you're trying to separate. But I know that this ink is, is water soluble. It will dissolve in the ink. So water is a good solvent to use. Now what I need to do is place the piece of filter paper with the pencil line and the dot of ink into the water, but I'll need to place it carefully so the water doesn't, or the solvent doesn't go above the pencil line. And I'm just gonna fold it over the top of a splint just out of shot of the camera at the moment, but I will I'll lift it up so you can see. There you go. And what will happen now is that the, the solvent, the water, will seep up the paper. I don't know if you can see that already, but it's just started, the water's starting to move up the paper, seep up the paper. And what will happen is that the ink, because it's soluble in the, the water, will dissolve in the water that's seeping up the paper. And the the dyes in the ink will move up the paper, but the different dyes in the ink will move up the paper at a different rate, so will separate out. And what I'm hoping is that each dye will form a spot in a different place, so I'll get one spot for each dye in the ink. So I'll be able to see which dyes make up my, my green ink. If any of the dyes are insoluble, then they won't dissolve, so they'll just stay on the pencil baseline. What I need to do now is to leave that going until the solvent, the water, has reached nearly the top of my piece of filter paper. It's about five minutes later and I remove my piece of filter paper from the solvent when the solvent nearly reached the top of the piece of the paper. And you can see that my green ink is actually made of three separate dyes and they form three separate spots. So we've got a blue spot here, a green spot in the middle and a yellow spot. So actually my green ink is actually made of a mixture of three dyes, my chromatogram tells me. And very often when doing chromatography, you actually get three or more dots that are completely separate from each other, like this. One of the useful things about chromatography is that you can use it to analyse things, to work out what they're made of and to compare substances. So what I did off camera is I actually, as well as making a chromatogram for this green pen, I made a chromatogram for this green pen and this green pen as well. So I wanted to compare the ink in each of these green pens. They're all green pens, but, but is it the same ink in each one? So this was the chromatogram for that pen. And you can see that actually, 
It's a different ink in this pen compared to this pen. And you can tell that because uh, of the, the different pattern that it's created. I think it's still a, a blue and a tiny bit of green there and, and yellow. So I think this dye, this ink, sorry, is still a mixture of, of blue and green and yellow dyes, but, but a different mixture. And then this pen, here's the chromatogram that I made for that pen. And again, you can see it's different. So you can see that we've kind of got, I think this is just a mixture of two dyes, this pen. It's a light blue and a kind of a, a yellowy green. So there we go. I've used chromatogram to separate the mixture of dyes in, in three different pens. And I've found out that although they're green pens, all of them, they are actually made, or oh, the ink in each one is actually made of a different mixture of dyes. There's a couple of key terms that you might come across in exam questions to do with chromatography. And I just want to introduce you to those two terms. And those two terms are mobile phase and stationary phase. So these are the two parts, the two phases of a chromatography experiment. Now stationary means not moving. So the, the thing that doesn't move in my little chromatography setup here is the chromatography paper, the filter paper. So the filter paper is the stationary phase. The mobile phase is the thing that moves. That's what mobile means. Like a mobile phone is a phone you can move around with. So the thing that's moving up the piece of filter paper or moving up the stationary phase is the solvent. 